Hey traders, don't forget if you want to learn to trade, go underneath this video, my free training is there. So uh, I'm going to continue this series that I'm doing. Uh, it's just as risk uh, off markets really, really take hold. You can see a real pull down in yen pairs, dollar yen, or yen, euro yen, etc. Um, and it's because the yen essentially has has sort of two prongs to it, if you like, looking more hawkish, the Bank of Japan, okay, and a reverse or a, or a finish of these carry trades, you're getting a lot of people exit those. And um, fear in the markets is causing yen investment. So a double whammy really with this, and I would say exactly what the Bank of Japan wants. Um, and there's extreme fear in the markets today, real extreme fear. You've got, uh, you know, your SBX coming down, various global equities, FTSE, and like I said, your yen's going, uh, or yen strength essentially, and also Swiss franc strength. Now you've got to understand the sentiment driver behind these markets, like I said. At this point, you're looking at an extreme situation where there is there is ultra yen demand. And therefore, you know, until that ultra yen demand stops, you'll probably find this trickles lower. I would say, therefore, and I just filmed this on a 100K uh, account that I put on YouTube, uh, if you're going to buy any yen, okay, it's okay. It's well and good doing it at uh, key levels of support, okay, notable key pivot zones, essentially where the probability of a rebound is likely. But if you do do it, you need to do it in a really, really light size because, like I said, that inherent risk and that sentiment is completely against you at this point. With the dollar, you know, the dollar is even being treated as a safe haven. Um, you know, it does normally. But the yen strength is just the overwhelming case there. And if you look at the ore yen, et cetera, New Zealand dollar yen, you know, it's all the same across the board. There is just this extreme demand for yens on a hawkish base from the Bank of Japan. And secondly, on real fears coming into the market post NFP. So, like I said, that will continue until you get a change in sentiment. You get a reason for it not to continue. You are coming to some key support, okay, real key pivot zone. So this is absolutely a long if you wanted to buy it, it has come through several long zones already. But like I said, even if you took those, they should be absolutely minuscule in size. I said that because the chances of falling through are very high. And they're very high because of the sentiment. Okay, you've got to understand there is a lot of fear going on. You have some minor rejection there. Okay. Um, so it may provide a little bit of impetus for long side entries. But if you do take this long, I would really consider cutting off early. It's a bit like what I just said on Bitcoin, if you've seen that video. Um, you want to get out because the sentiment is, is completely against you. Like I said, chances of you going higher and higher and higher are lower because of that sentiment. Doesn't mean it won't happen, and it very well could. Um, but, you know, you may end up here. Eventually, you could lock in gains, but definitely as a first move, I would consider killing that. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.